then in the morning, I'm making waffles. Hey, little carvers, my name is Tasha Oltsna, and I'm taking the kitchen over from my dad today, so let's whip up some waffles. I've already started my waffle maker and have been laying it warm up for about 10 minutes to make sure it's hot enough to prevent the waffles from sticking and breaking apart. Now let's go over to my processor. Now to start out we're going to want to add about 8 ounces of cream cheese, about 4 eggs, half a cup of almond flour, There's my waffle maker saying it's ready. About a fourth cup of coconut flour. About half a teaspoon of vanilla extract. About two packets of Splenda or the equivalent of two drops of liquid Splenda. One teaspoon of baking powder. About a half teaspoon of baking soda. and just a dash of salt to add to our mix. Now let me grab my processor lid and snap it on. Now we're going to want to blend this mix for about two minutes, occasionally scraping the sides to make sure all our ingredients get well incorporated together. Alright, now that we have our batter all mixed up, I am going to shake out the mixer blades and set them aside. And we're going to take out our waffle maker and spray down the tops and bottoms in order to prevent sticking. Alright, now I'm going to take my fourth cup and Pour the batter in about the center, and the batter will spread out to the sides on its own. You don't want to add too much batter, otherwise it will cause overflowing, and then it will just start gooping out your mixer, and it won't be a very happy waffle day. Alright, now I'm going to shut this side and flip it over to the other side and essentially do the same thing, but I have a little secret ingredient for this waffle. Alright, now that we got our batter in, I am going to add my pre-washed blueberries, which is awesome with waffles. I love blueberries, so I'm going to add a lot. Alright, now we shut this side. Flip it back over, and then we're just going to wait for our waffle maker to beep. Alright, our waffle maker just beeps, so let's take out our waffle already halfway out for us. Look at that beautiful waffle. Could have added some more batter, but eh. Hey, this has been Atkins Die in the Kitchen with Tasha Ultima. Thumbs up if you're going to try this recipe soon. I hope this reaches everybody in great health. Bye.